Welcome to your yoga stretch for excellent posture. These are the best moves you can do to improve your posture. I know we're all sitting a lot, so this is going to help you feel so nice and tall. In this practice, I'm gonna be using a bolster from Brentwood Home. If you don't have one yet, I've got the link down below. It is amazing. I love the way you can do so much with it. I use it every day and it looks beautiful in my home too. I'm actually Jacqueline, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so excited for us to practice together. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start in Tadasana, which is mountain pose, if you're not familiar. Feet are just about hip distance apart. Hands are gonna be by your side. And now close your eyes, and I want you to feel the line from your head down to your heels. Pull the pelvis in, pull the lower belly in, draw the ribs down. I want you to think about lengthening out through the low back. So just becoming aware of your standing position can be so powerful. When I started doing this, this is actually how I was able to do a handstand and it completely improved my posture. So we're gonna rock forward to the toes and then you're gonna rock your weight back into your heels. Just notice how the body changes and shifts around. Awareness is one of the best things we could do for our posture. So even though it doesn't feel like we're doing much, it really is helping all of the neurons in the body to really connect and help you become more mindful and present in your body. Good, just rocking forward and back. You might notice how you need to use your core a little bit more. Go ahead and open up the chest. Make sure that the shoulders are open. Good, now you're gonna rock forward onto the toes. And now I want you to rock over to the right. A little bit rocking back. A little rock to the left. A little rock forward. Good, and now reverse that. Rock to the left. Rock back. Rock to the side. And rock forward. Good, one more time all the way around. Make it smooth. Now we're just gonna make a nice big circle. Back side, front, good, front, side, back, Woo. side, front, beautiful. Go ahead and open your eyes if you haven't yet and take a nice big inhale in, exhale, we're gonna forward fold all the way. Nice, bring the hands about to the shin and I want you to think about lifting the chest up lift, lift, lift through the chest, a little back bend through the upper back, and release, and then rise all the way up, root the feet into the ground, and exhale, release the hands, beautiful. Now we're gonna clasp the hands behind us this time, nice big open chest, stretching out those pec muscles, and then we're gonna take a beautiful forward fold, pouring down over the legs. You can leave a soft bend in the knees if you need to, and allow the hands to really get heavy over the head. So you might feel some tightness in the shoulders and the pecs and the lats, scapula, that's normal. Let it all kind of hang. Let the shoulders open, let the scapula open. Release tension where you can with your breath. One more big deep breath in. and let go of the hands, stay in the forward fold. And then go ahead and grab onto opposite elbows. Sway slack side to side. Maybe you can release the head, shake the head, yes. Good, doesn't it feel so good to release all these muscles up here? And then place the hands down towards the floor. Good, now we're gonna walk back into a downward facing Pedal out the feet. And I want you to really focus here since it is a posture class. I want you to keep your focus on your spine. Think about elongating through the spine. You can picture all your little vertebrae, right? We all took anatomy at some point. And think about all the little, there's a little squishy cartilage in between the vertebrae. Think about spreading out the vertebrae from each other. See if you can do that in your mind. Imagine them just spreading apart. Imagine those little spongy areas getting fuller and thicker, more padded, elongating all the way through the spine, feeling space in your back. Beautiful. 
Now we're gonna shift forward into a high plank pose. We won't be here long. Plank is super powerful for our posture because we work the arms, we turn on the core, we turn on the back, we turn on the inner thighs. So really push the floor away, feel nice and strong here. Take a big inhale in, and I want you to shift your weight over the fingertips. Good, now as slowly as you can, lower down to the floor, slower than that, even slower for a five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, release all the way down. And now I want you to press the palms down into the floor as you slide them back. Don't lift those palms up. Keep them pressed down into the floor. Squeeze the elbows together. Lift the head and chest up. Good, now keep pushing the palms down into the floor. Keep squeezing the elbows together. Lift the heart and chest up. Beautiful. And then release down. So we're doing both activations and releases. And that's really how you get a strong, supple spine. So let's do that again. Let's uh, press the base of the palm down to the floor. Squeeze the elbows together. Lift up. Feel those spinal muscles working here for you. Lifting up. So we're just reversing all of that hunching that we do all day. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Make sure that it's out of the neck. And release down. Beautiful. <sighs> Now you're gonna take the arms back behind you, clasp them together. If that's not available to you, just keep the arms apart and just reach for your toes. Otherwise you're clasping and then we're reaching all the way back. Nice, use those back muscles, point the toes, lift up through the heart, lift up through the chest. Nice big deep breath in and exhale, release. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. Big inhale, reach the arms back behind you, clasp them together, otherwise you're just reaching, and then lift for Shalambhasana right here. Shoulder blades squeeze together, the heart lifts up higher. Imagine all those erected spinal muscles fired up. Imagine them lighting up right now, lifting you up higher, holding your back tall. One more inhale in, and then exhale, release. Beautiful work. All right, now we're going to just come all the way up. Whew. Nice, good back work there, right? I love doing those. I just feel so tall afterwards. Okay, so now we're gonna come into a puppy pose here. Let's just first start by reaching the arms forward and then scooch those knees back so you have some space. We're gonna make it active first. So we're gonna do like as if you're doing a cat cow. So you're gonna lift up round through the back and then you're gonna release the chest down towards the floor. Good, lift it up, four, and release. Three, and release. Two, release, and one. And release, good. Now we're gonna hold the release. If you wanna take it a little bit further, you can bend the elbows just like this and the hands come together and you can release. Now I like to take my forehead to the floor. If that's available to you, go for it. But this feels really good as we open up through the front body. Have a little back bend in the upper back and just breathe. forward here just like that it wasn't the most graceful transition but we're going with it okay so we're gonna take a nice little T stretch so I'm gonna show you on the left side first so you can see my left arm is gonna reach out here like this and then I'm going to lay my left ear on the bolster and I'm gonna turn over so now I'm stacked on top with my hips I like to take my foot here because that just gives me like a little kickstand 
So if you notice, we're gonna have a nice, really good uh, chest and pec stretch. This is amazing if you have rounded shoulders. This is a miracle worker, it really is. So just hold here for a couple of breaths. See if there's tension somewhere in the body that you're holding on to and send your breath right there. switch sides. Doesn't that feel so good? I felt it all the way down to my low back. So switch sides and use that kickstand and you can see how far you can go. Just make sure you're not sticking the booty out and shortening. Make sure that you really are trying to elongate through the low back and the spine. And slowly release. Great job. And now let's go ahead and take our bolster behind us here. And we are going to really stretch out our chest here. This one's gonna feel so good as we lay back right here. And so come up more like on the top of the bolster. And now you're just going to reach the arms up overhead and then bring the elbows down for some snow angels here. Reach up overhead and down. Two more, just like this. And one. Good, and then just find a good comfortable position for yourself. Make sure that the shoulders are tucked under, the elbows are wide. Good, and just release. I like to bring the knees together here because it just helps to support the pose. And just feel the chest and everything stretch out. up overhead and extend the legs long and come on up good job and we've got one more stretch right here just giving you all my best ones I love all these they feel so good okay so now you want the bolster right over on the uh, on the upper part of the back and then we're gonna take a nice little lean back oh, this one's really really so it's just a little bit deeper in a different way, more of the upper back stretch. So just reach the arms up overhead. Nice, and now we're gonna take the hands behind the head. We're gonna do a few little crunches to start. So we're just gonna come on up, five, and then inhale down, and four. You're gonna notice all the little vertebrae opening up. So good. Three, two, and one. 
and then release it all the way back right here. And we're gonna hold here for the remainder of class. I put my legs up in a butterfly. You can do that if that feels good for you. But find a good comfy position where you can just really let yourself melt into this bolster. Feel the shoulders open, feel the chest open. And no self beat up or anything like that. We all are working on our chest and it's just a matter of making time to do this video every day. I honestly suggest doing this every day. And if you can't do it every day, and then every other day, as often as you can. So I'm really proud of you for being here and taking care of your body, doing a good job. to stay here as long as you like if it feels good I'm gonna close out class inhale in and slowly roll yourself all the way up Ooh. one vertebrae at a time it is bright out here I've had my eyes closed everything looks blue that's okay bring the hands to heart center bring your hands and your head towards each other as a symbol of gratitude towards your beautiful body I'm so proud of you for showing up because that is how you make change that's how you get results and i'm honored to be your guide and teacher during this time namaste amazing job i'm so glad you joined me today i hope you're feeling nice and open and tall be sure to comment down below let me know how you liked it subscribe to my channel it really does help me out so much and don't forget i've got that great discount code for you so you can get a bolster at home if you don't have one yet all right love you so much bye